The first angiogram, it wasn't a coronary angiogram. As you can see from this picture, it was a brain angiogram. It was completed in 1927. Portuguese physician Egas Moniz at the University of Lisbon. It was an angiogram of the vessels of the brain. The first heart cath was done by physician Werner Forsman. He inserted a tube into the cubital vein of his arm, then guided the tube to the right chamber of his heart. He took an x-ray to prove his success. And again, that's basically just a heart cath. But the first time you actually did a significant coronary angiogram, looking at the specific arteries of the heart, this was done by Mason Soames. Again, I believe he was at Mayo. He was a pediatric cardiologist. And as we said, it was done by accident. He was looking at the aorta of kids that had some genetic aortic dilatation or dilation. Sticklers is one of the issues, but it's clearly not the most common. Anyway, he was looking at these to measure how much dilation the aorta had had. And, and by mistake, he slipped the end of that catheter into behind that leaf of the aortic valve and into the coronary vessel itself. He got a picture of an artery supplying the muscle of the heart, just like we talked about. And even though it was a bad day in terms of stopping the patient's heart and having to restart it, it was an incredible day for him because he figured he might be starting a whole new industry or a whole new focus within medicine and sure enough that's exactly what he did but now it's what 50 years later and we're finding well if procedures could actually prevent heart attacks then that may have been a good thing but like so many things in life and our journeys in science we headed down some very big paths with our assumptions. And it's only, what, 50 years later that we're beginning to understand that the assumption that a procedure is gonna prevent a heart attack is not correct.